In this lesson, we're going to talk about layouts. Let's open up the motorcycle model. From your working files, go to the motorcycle folder, which is at the same level as all of the chapter folders, and use the top level assemblies filter, and then you can open up the motorcycle assembly. I want to first show you the formal SolidWorks feature that's called Layout. This is available through the Insert menu under Layout. You can tell immediately that this is a 3D sketch because it's trying to put you on a plane that's activated, but you can double click in space and that plane is deactivated. This allows you to draw lines in any orientation. We also notice the space handle, which is a familiar origin for 3D sketches. If we just draw some lines in here to have something. The layout feature allows you to have some extra functionality, but it's functionality that, frankly, you're going to pay for later on. It doesn't work like a normal sketch. You're not allowed to put sketch pictures in a 3D sketch or in a layout. And a sketch picture is kind of fundamental to using layout functionality. So 3D sketches are powerful, but you're going to give up a lot if you use the formal layout functionality. Layout has been given its own tab in the command manager, and this is the symbol. And if you see a symbol like that at the top of the assembly manager, that means that you've got a layout in your assembly. Without going into a detailed demonstration of why this is such bad functionality, I'll ask you to take my word for it and just use assembly layout sketches like I will demonstrate next. Notice that the symbol up here for the layout has taken over. And if I delete it, SolidWorks will give me a message that you can't work with it in the way that you're used to working. If we edit the layout, Right click, go into the layout, double click in space, window select all of that, delete it, exit. SolidWorks is still thinking I have a layout in here. Rather than using the regular formalized layout feature, I would recommend that instead you use just sketches inside the assembly. For example, you can see sketch one. If I edit this sketch, this was a basic sketch of the layout of the motorcycle, which allows me to establish elements of the fork, the wheelbase, the wheel size, the frame geometry, and I could also place other aspects in here, such as the motor or the drivetrain. There's several things that you can do with an assembly sketch used as a layout. Also, if we take a look at the frame part by itself, the frame itself also has a layout sketch, but this sketch does not have any sketch elements in it. The only thing it has is a sketch picture, and I can right click on this and unsuppress it. So, in this case, the layout is really just an image, which allows me to sketch over the picture. The main sweep of the frame has elements of the sketch inside it. And this sketch has been reused, which is why it has the region symbol on it instead of a regular sketch symbol. So there are a couple of things that you can do with layouts, including sketch pictures and sketches that remain at the top of the feature manager. You don't want to see this sketch picture all the time. You can right click on it and suppress it. Let's flip back to the assembly using Control Tab. So you can see the usefulness of sketches inside assemblies and also sketches to drive individual parts. When you just use an assembly sketch to do this, we still call the technique a layout, but SolidWorks has given the formal name layout to this functionality which I believe is not usable in assemblies.